We all have seen what it is to teleport from one place to another. Movies like Star Trek and Star Wars introduce the concept of traveling to places and dimensions in the blink of an eye. A sci-fi concept that defies the laws of physics and manipulates the reality of time and speed. But are these concepts attainable through science? Is it possible to defy the limit of speed and travel from one place to another in the blink of an eye? Fastest Thing on Earth In 2009, history was made. The title of Fastest Man Alive was awarded to Jamaican athlete Usain Bolt. Clocking a stunning 9.58 seconds in a 100-meter run, Usain was lightning to every athlete. He was fast, but he was not fast enough to compete with the fastest animal, the cheetah. With its capability to almost instantly skyrocket from 0 to 60 miles or 96 kilometers per hour in less than 3 seconds, the cheetah could be the fastest creature on Earth. However, with the Bugatti Chiron Supersport, dubbed the fastest car having a 304 mile per hour top speed, the cheetah would not be considered the fastest thing. The list could go on forever. Inventions, animals, and people may contest each other for being the fastest thing to exist in the world, but there's only one thing faster than anything. Light. According to Albert Einstein, the legendary scientist and the genius behind the theory of relativity, nothing in the universe can travel faster or even as fast as light. The speed of light is so fast that it can travel faster than the combined speed of the cheetah, the Bugatti Chiron, and Usain Bolt, even if their speed is multiplied a hundred times. The Speed of Light At 299,792,458 meters per second, or 186,282 miles per second, the speed of light puts an end to the universe's speed limit. It is so fast that when you turn on a light bulb, it would immediately reach every corner of the room in just a blink of an eye. According to science, it would take only one second for the light of the moon to reach our naked eyes. This means the distance of the moon from Earth is only one light second away. The sun's light, on the other hand, would take up to eight minutes to reach our naked eyes, making it eight light minutes away from the Earth. The light on Alpha Centauri, which is the confirmed nearest solar system to ours, could take up to 4.3 years to reach our eyes, so that puts Alpha Centauri 4.3 light years away from our Earth. Astronomers and physicists measure such great distances from one heavenly body to another by using the standard measurement of a light year. One light year would mean that it takes light one year to arrive at a certain place, and one light year is about six trillion miles. The Discovery of Light Speed the measurement of the speed of light dates back to the early 5th century BCE. Greek philosophers like Empedocles and Aristotle had different theories about the speed of light. While Empedocles believed that light must have its own rate of travel, Aristotle, on the other hand, believed that unlike sound, light is instantaneous. In the mid-1600s, Galileo Galilei proposed in his lantern experiment that light travels ten times faster than sound. While his experiment lacked sufficient resources to actually measure light speed, it did prove that there is nothing faster than light, not even sound or smell. Finally, in the 1670s, Ole Romer came up with the best estimate for the speed of light. By recording the precise time of eclipses of Jupiter's moon from the Earth, Romer noticed that there is a delay in the timing of eclipses every six months. 
Romer measured the delay and made the first good estimate of the speed of light. The Dutch scientist Christian Huygens calculated the arithmetic of Romer's estimates and found that the value for the speed of light is 131,000 miles or 210,824.064 kilometers per second, which is almost correct considering the available resources and technology that they had back then compared to now. This discovery then became a significant foundation for discovering the exact speed of light. It was only in 1879 when Albert A. Michelson, along with his colleague Edward Morley, found that light was determined to travel through a vacuum. This means that light speed will always be constant no matter how far or near the target object would be for the light to reach. These discoveries sparked an interest in the possibility of achieving the speed of light in our technologies. Between the late 90s and early 2000s, science fiction introduced a concept that everyone seemed to fantasize about. The concept of achieving light speed and manipulating the laws of speed and time. The introduction of this concept then challenged science to explore what it is to be at the speed of light. Albert Einstein and E equals mc squared while achieving the speed of light may seem impossible, Albert Einstein, on the other hand, said otherwise. In his theory of special relativity, Einstein explored the laws of speed and time. In his famous equation, E equals mc squared, he unified energy, matter, and the speed of light to solve the possibility of time travel. His equation proposes that it would be impossible for objects with mass to achieve the speed of light and that if they do, their mass would become infinite. This discovery only means that while it is impossible for a certain thing to reach the speed of light, one thing remains the same. Light is the fastest thing to have ever existed, to the point that achieving it is God-level prowess. The Warp Drive, M-Drive However, a suggested discovery created a breakthrough in the exploration of the speed of light when NASA introduced a concept called the Warp Drive. The Warp Drive theory is the same concept that we see in the Star Trek series. It is when space is contracted in one place and enlarged in the target warp location. These modifications to space-time structure enable people to travel at speeds faster than the speed of light. Though the concept of warp driving defies the laws of time and speed, the use of it does not mean that one has achieved the speed of light. Instead, warp driving means that you travel as fast as light blankets a room in a blink of an eye. It is a concept more commonly known as teleportation in different fictional stories. In 1994, scientist Miguel Alcubierre's initial warp drive design became the subject of the first scientific realization of a working warp drive. The Alcubierre drive, as it was afterwards known, distorts space-time as permitted by the theory of general relativity, in order for the universe to warp around the technology. It was mostly just thought to be an experiment, yet, because of the drastic rise of the concept of time travel, teleportation, and other space-time traveling, people thought that it was something that NASA had achieved. Alcubierre's experiment came to be seen as a false alarm and not a matter of NASA actually developing a functioning warp drive. Just like the warp drive, the M-drive is much more a concept of a thruster that would function without a propellant. It is not an experiment of achieving time warp or any other space-time defying miracles, but instead, the M-Drive focuses more on the mechanics of a spacecraft's engine. The ultimate goal of M-Drive was to make travel to distant locations such as the outer solar system or even closer extrasolar planets like Alpha Centauri manageable in human timescales. However, this experiment failed to answer the hopes of breaking through space-time laws, and still, the possibility to achieve the speed of light remains vague 
and impossible. The Truth About Warp Drive With all the endless studies and efforts in exploring space and time, traveling at the speed of light may be impossible in the future, yet for now, it remains a concept and a theory for space-time fantasies and fiction. In the rapid rise of information about warp drive and M-drive, NASA released a statement to refute all the conspiracies about the discovery of attaining light speed. Science fiction writers have given us many images of interstellar travel, but traveling at the speed of light is simply imaginary at present. There are many absurd theories that have become reality over the years of scientific research, but for the near future, Warp drive remains a dream. Time traveling and the speed of light may not be possible for now, but considering that our technologies are getting more advanced year by year, we may never know what scientists will achieve sooner in space travel. The only ways to travel at the speed of light. With NASA's announcement, it may seem that the speed of light may be impossible to achieve but there are three ways, based on Einstein's theory of relativity, that NASA has theorized for humans to achieve or travel at the speed of light. These are electromagnetic fields, magnetic explosions, and wave-particle interactions. NASA has focused all of its studies on these three theories so that we can soon answer the question, is it really possible to achieve the speed of light? If NASA does find the solution to answer that question with a yes, that would be the biggest of all scientific discoveries, and everything may then seem possible for science to achieve. If this discussion made you crave more space stories, then you might want to see what happened to Voyager 1 and learn about what it found.